Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and today Apple released iOS 12 Beta 6 to developers. I would expect the public beta out in a day or so, or it could be out by the time you're watching this. It came in at 450.1 megabytes for me, and it was a little bit longer to install than normal. Let's take a look at the build number. The build is 16A5345F, and I've also installed it on my iPhone SE right here and 7 Plus over here. We'll take a look at those in just a moment. Now, battery life on the previous beta was not so great, although for me it was a little bit better than the ones before that. A lot of people are having resprings, so a lot of that hopefully is fixed. Apple in their notes has said there are five resolved issues and 17 known issues still exist. Now, as far as what's new, one of the new things was when you go into music for the first time, you'll be welcomed with this new splash screen. It says what's new in Apple Music and just gives a couple little inform a little bit more information than we had before. The next thing is there's a new AirPlay icon on the lock screen. So maybe you're playing music and you go home, go to the lock screen. You have a new icon now in the upper right. So it looks a little bit different and it's just something new to note that could change before it's finally released. Now, when we're talking about the wallpaper on the device, they've changed it a little bit as far as the order is concerned. I think that's to make room for new ones. If we go into wallpaper, go to choose new wallpaper, then we go into stills, you'll see they've shifted things around all the new wallpaper at the bottom and some of the wallpaper is missing compared to what was there before. So they've changed that a little bit. Now in the home app, there's also some new wallpapers as well. So this home app, if you use this, we'll go to home and you'll see it's orange in the background. So what you have to do is go to this home icon, go down here, go to home settings, go to whatever home you have, then you're going to pick whichever one you want down here and then scroll down and then choose from existing or take a photo. So we'll choose from existing and then you'll see there's three new wallpapers right here. So if we pick blue, we can pick blue and hit set, go back home, hit done. Now the background is blue. You can't use these on the main screen though. Now as far as speed and everything, it seems really fast on all devices. I've been using it on all three for the past couple hours and not just the iPhone 10, but everything seems to be nice and fast. So no issues on the SE and I know a lot of people are having respring issues. I haven't had that yet on this particular beta. The last beta, I had a lot of that. Now Apple continues to update maps. So we'll go into maps and they've made some of the fonts stronger. So they're easier to read. They continue to update a lot of the information and depending on where you're at, hopefully we'll get more and more data. So we're getting more and more detailed information and a lot of the fonts and things just make it look easier to read. It's easier to see at a distance. Now, as far as things that Apple has resolved, this is some good news for those of you that were having Bluetooth issues on the previous beta. They should have resolved all of those issues. So if you had Bluetooth issues on the previous one, you should be good to go as far as that goes now. Also, those CarPlay Siri shortcuts, when you're using those, they should work now unless they require confirmation or your screen is locked. Otherwise, all of that stuff should now work. Now, as far as things that won't work, settings might crash when you're in it, specifically when you're in voice and speech settings. So if you're in settings under voice and speech, you may have some issues there. Also, if you're on an iPod Touch 6th Gen, 5S, iPhone 6, 6 Plus, iPad Mini 2, iPad Mini 3, and iPad Air, currently under group FaceTime, if you're using that, they only support audio. They don't support video in this particular beta. Also, if you're on T-Mobile, like I am, and you're using Wi-Fi calling, that could crash while you're using it and not work properly. So make sure you turn Wi-Fi off if you're having those issues while you're making phone calls, and that should resolve it. Now, there were also updates to Mojave and Watch as well. Let me know if you want updates on those as well in the comments below. And then also, I did run a Geekbench on this. Let's take a look. So today's Geekbench scores are 4,229 for single core, 10,437 for multi-core. I did run it twice and got pretty similar results. You can see here, these two are from today and this is from before. Although it feels much faster than previously, although it's slightly slower on the multi-core. So everything seems to be okay. Now, as far as the release date is the, of this, uh, the previous version, iOS 11, released on the 19th of September, and we're a few weeks away. So if Apple continues the weekly update cycle of 13th, 20th, 27th, 3rd, 10th, we could see quite a few more betas, or maybe as they get more stable, they'll slow down. We're not really sure at this point, but usually at the end, they go weekly. So they have done that so far. 
We may see quite a few more, we might not. But if you're having issues, make sure you submit those through the feedback app. If you'd like to get your hands on this wallpaper, I'll leave it in the description as I always do. If you found anything new, let me know in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.